Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I will talk about Vicuna 13B, which is an open source chatbot, which is as close as ChatGPT. So let's have a look at some important point first. As per initial evaluation, using GPT-4 as a judge, it shows that Vicuna 13B achieves more than 90% quality of OpenAI ChatGPT and Google Bard, while outperforming other models like Llama and Stanford Alpaca in more than 90% of cases. The cost of training Vicuna 30B is around $300. And the code as well as the demo is publicly available, but it's for non-commercial use as of now. So I'm first going to do some testing and see if it is really performing that well. And later on, we will go ahead and look at the other details. So I have asked one question. Can you give, help me write an email to my manager requesting sick leave to GPT 3.5? And it has given me response. And the same question was asked to Vicuna 13B and I have the response. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask rating from GPT 4 model here. So this is the prompt which I have written here. So you'll see that I have two responses here. Could you please read them on a scale of one to 10 with 10 being the best and the response one and the response two. So let's see what GPT-4 is going to return. So you could see here the response one was from chat GPT 3.5 and it has rated 9.5 whereas the response of Vicuna it has rated 8.5. As for the claim from the team right which is 90% close to chat GPT. So we can see the response here. So I would say that this is pretty much great. So let's look at the overview. So how it was trained. So they have taken the data. I'll talk about the data later. Then they have trained this Llama model on this data set. And then they have done the evaluation using GPT-4. Okay. So now the most important part is here the training data. Because that's why this Vicuna is able to generate so well response compared to other Alpaca and Llama models. So what they have done is so they have taken this shared GPT data. So what is shared GPT? It's a plugin which you can install and share your discussion with the chat GPT. So consider that this is one of the example where I've asked few questions that list 30 jobs that will not be impacted by GPT-4 or large language model, right? And I want to share this. So if you click on this share button, it will create this link and this link will be available on this shared GPT platform. So team has taken this 70,000. So if you see here, 70,000 of this conversation has been taken from shared GPT and it was modified and it was trained. So that's the reason that this Vicuna is so well in responding and able to generate responses as close as chat GPT. So let's have a look at the comparison table. So you will see here Llama has like 1 trillion token. Alpaca has 52,000 tokens. Vicuna was trained on 70,000 tokens or samples you could say. Uh, look at the training cost. So those 7 billion model was trained using $500 plus 100 for the training for Alpaca. Whereas Vicuna was trained using just $140 training because here the data was already available, right? For 13 billion model, it has costed around $300 because data was free here, right? They have not spent any uh, money on the data. So that's one thing. Now, as you know that how Vicuna is able to generate response. So let's have a look at some of the responses which they have given it here in the website. So here is one question about writing a blog of a recent trip in Hawaii. Uh, so Alpaca has generated a very minimal response. Uh, let's have a look at some other response. Llama has not created any kind of response. It was very basic chat GPT 3.5 model. Uh, this was expected, right? ChatGPT is really good uh, in creating responses like this. And then we have Bard. And I think Bard has also generated a very well response here. But looking at the response from Vicuna here, you could see that it has generated a response very much similar to ChatGPT 3.5 here. And when they fed this responses to GPT-4, GPT-4 has evaluated for Bard 9 out of 10 and Vicuna 10 out of 10. So which is really good. Let's have a look at some other categories here. So if you click on this category option, you have role play, common sense, coding, math, generic and knowledge. So let's have a look at math and you could see here Bart scored 10 out of 10. Vicuna scored 4 out of 10. So we know that right anyway, chat GPT is not very good at maths. So let's have a look at some other uh, coding. In coding, you can see that Bart has scored 4 out of 10. Vicuna has scored 9 out of 10. That's really great. So we have another question here like implement a regular expression in Python to validate email address. So here Bard is scored 7 out of 10 whereas Vicuna is scored 8.5 out of 10. Let's have a look at some common sense question. So here Bard has scored 9 out of 10. Vicuna is scored 9 out of 10. This is how they have done the comparison here and you will be able to see 
and that's where they have generated a response you know where it is able to score 90 percent as close as chat gpt and bard and it is able to outclass llama and alpaca that's all for the day guys if you like this video hit the like and subscribe button all the link uh, for this vicuna as well as chat will be available in the description of the video you can take it from there and try it yourself see you in the next video thank you